Hi there, I'm Mitch Randall, technical manager for KB UK, and uh, the video I want to um, share with you today is basically how to connect to one of our Generation 6 Blue inverter drives using the Commivus 6 software and the standard USB to serial um, converter here. So as you can see, we've got a couple of um, S6s here in this um, demo rig. And the first thing we're going to need to do is let's connect up the serial connector to the serial port. The, as you can see, the serial port on the, any of our blue drives is a 9-pin D-type. So if we see the, the standard 9-pin D-type, you can plug the USB serial converter in to it. The next thing to do is we'll just connect this to the laptop here and we should then be ready to set up the communications between the software and the drive. As uh, you may have seen in a previous video where we were doing the similar exercise with the um, F5 um, inverter, the um, Generation 6, um, S6, F6 um, inverters is pretty much the similar process. So first thing to do is let's start the um, Commodore 6 software now we have all the um, cables connected and uh, what you'll see is we have a scan for um, KB devices there's a simple button on the home page here the software so we just click on that and it brings up a small pop-up window as we're not using the um, ethernet and uh, TCP IP EDP we can disable that keep the serial um, box here ticked but for the sake of um, speed I'm just going to deselect COM port 3 because that isn't an actual serial port that we're going to be using. For this one we're using the USB um, serial device on uh, COM port 4. So as soon as you've got that set up just click the start search and leave it to it. And if everything goes to Plan, we should get a single node tenor, which we have. Once you've got uh, a node detected, down in the bottom right hand corner here, you can um, select um, or add the selected device. So just click on this button here, and the pop up now should um, close itself, and we should find ourselves with a node 1. S6K drive and with a screen um, symbol here yeah, showing that it's online. And as with the um, F5 and other drives, you can just go over here to the tab, select the um, device parameters, and this gives you access to all the um, sub menus like the, um, the run parameters where you can see the speed, the status, and other things like that, um, live over the um, serial connection and if you wanted to um, set up the drive for instance you can go to the drive parameters if you didn't want to use the um, inbuilt wizards for um, doing a lot of the uh, setup in this, um, on this um, drive. Yeah. So um, I hope you found this interesting. Um, once you have the drive connected you can then go on to make a backup of all the drive parameters um, so you have the ability to restore them or clone another drive for instance for a similar application. I hope you found this um, short video um, useful to connect the um, kind of software to the um, generation 6 drives and just to remind you that if it's got a 9 pin D type on one of our blue drives that's the um, serial port and you should be able to um, plug straight in with the standard serial converter and get the communications working without too much trouble at all.